Hello, hello, hello. I think I need to turn something off, or maybe I don't. Joe's house. All right. Um, okay, we're live. So, hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the only real, unconditional ingredient or step to your real and fulfilling success. So every single word in this title is crucial. And so I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna start with the most popular one, which is success. So you may be acting or you may be in another sort of um, art or high performance activity. And um, you may be looking for success, wanting success, wanting more success, wanting a different kind of success, or you may be having some external success and it doesn't feel like success inside. So what I wanna say is this video is really for any level of success or no success that you have or haven't experienced. Um, what comes directly with success is fulfillment. So if it doesn't feel great, if you're not well, if you're not full of your own self, if you're not whole, joyful, with love, if you don't have those qualities with you, if you're not at peace inside of you, there is no success. And way too often we see people who come to our community actors more specifically. My hair is not a success. I'm just realizing that as I see myself on Instagram. Um, so we have um, actors who have success, meaning external success, and who are coming to us with very high levels of success, and they feel terrible inside. They are suffering inside. I've heard words like torture. So first of all, I would like to make sure that we understand the word success the same way. What is not success is someone who has everything looking good from the outside, who has all the credits, all the jobs, all the accolades, all the validation, even the medals, but who is feeling terrible inside. And we know for a fact that those people exist more often than not because they jump out the window. And so we know that that's a thing, okay? so. When I'm going to talk about success, real success, I mean the one where you're getting to the goals that you've set yourself for with fulfillment. That means the quality of your inner life increases with the quality of your outer life. No matter what quality means to you, that you're feeling whole and full filled. So you're with joy, with health, you're with safety, you're with happiness, all of that stuff, okay? So that's really, really important. And that's what we're gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about success without fulfillment. And then this is more addressed to the ones of you who are maybe actors or performers in, 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 performers in any way and you're not getting that level of external success that you see others have on TV or in the movies or whatever your profession is. And you're thinking, oh, I just wish I was them. I wish I, I was that successful. I wish I had access to that success. And here's the thing. You don't know whether that success is fulfilled or not. So many people are at very high levels and are unfulfilled. So in this conversation, success and fulfillment don't go without each other. They are always together. If it's success without fulfillment, then it's no success. It's, it feels horrible, so it's not successful. Okay, so the, the, that's what I call real success, right? That's why I say if you want real success and fulfilling success, there is only one ingredient that you need and it's unconditional and it's only one and it's really unconditional. You cannot access any level of success and fulfillment without that one ingredient. I'll repeat it, you cannot access any level of success and fulfillment, no matter the level, without this one ingredient. You cannot, okay? And it's the one ingredient 
that you can't learn and that no one can teach you. So that's great news because it means you have it. So first of all, I wanted to say something um, and I forgot, obviously. It's gonna come back to me. So what you may have tried so far is to work harder, to take more classes, to go to this mentor, that mentor, read that book, do that workshop, travel, see a you know celebrity mentor or whatever, get a shrink, get another shrink, get advice, like ask the casting directors, do some other workshops. Like you may have tried your best and you maybe have worked real hard to get the best advice and the best training. And what I'm gonna say, is that hasn't given you the real success that we're talking about. Real means, again, I am getting the results that I'm aiming for and I feel incredible with it. So as the inside and ex the outside raise together, where in whichever direction my goal is. If they don't raise together, again, they don't exist. So you have probably tried to work harder and to do more things and to do it differently or to do it better than others. You've tried everything. You've tried to look different. I mean, I hear the craziest stories out there of what people try and it hasn't worked because all of these things that you're trying are external things. They're not the one and only unconditional ingredient that you need for real fulfilling success. So I feel for you because we're in a culture where just turn on Instagram and everybody's going to tell you, if you do this, you'll have that. If you do that, you'll have this. Don't ever do this. Don't ever do that. Like it's just the jungle of advice to tell you what you're supposed to do and this new trick and that new method and that new technology and this new surgery and everything will transform you and you'll finally have the life of your dreams. That's the culture we live in. Everything is accessible. You click a button and you have it. You can buy it. You can purchase everything. So the stuff is immense, is limitless, and you can buy it. And you've probably tried to buy it, the books, the teachers, the tricks, the workshops, and it hasn't worked because none of those things are the one and only unconditional ingredient that you do need for your success and your fulfillment. And so let's look at what that ingredient is and why you're not bathing in it right now. So that ingredient, wonderful news, is you. The only one thing you need for real fulfilling success is you. And what I mean when I say you, I mean the, this is really like, it's like I'm a unicorn. It's literally sticking in front. Um, when I say you, I mean the full version of you. I mean the hundred percent of you. I mean the whole actualized you the one you were born to be, the one you were meant to be, the one you were when you were a child, when you were fully alive, fully instinctive, feeling, smelling, acting on every instinct, feeling every emotion, never wondering what other people think until you've been conditioned, right? You've been conditioned, educated, parented, wired into, being what others tell you, feeling what others tell you, thinking what others tell you, learning what others tell you, peeing when others tell you at school. So everything that has been pressed in your little young years from zero to seven has been conditioning. And that's when you're a sponge. When you're a sponge from zero to seven years old is when you're absorbing all of the things from your culture in order to adapt, fit, belong, stay safe, stay loved, be validated. And so if you look at the things that you've been taught and pushed into and wired into and educated into, it's really don't cry. No, don't get angry. No, don't be scared. No, don't be too loud when you're happy. No, don't touch yourself. Don't be aroused. So it's been a no to everything that's come from inside of you. If you think of what happened at school, it's really been sit down, shut up, you have nothing to say, you listen to the teacher and you do what you're told. And if you don't, you get punished and humiliated and then your parents love you a little bit less, right? And then you are raised in that and it becomes the new normal 
and or your new normal and you adapt and you start excelling at being liked by others, sensing what you think others need, being accepted by everyone and looking good. And when you do that, you are miles and miles and miles away from what you came for, which is to be you, to cry when you want, to yell when you want, to rage when you want, to laugh out loud when you want, and to be fucking afraid when you need to be afraid. Because if you don't do that, you have no access to who you are. You are literally disconnected from who you are. So you're born here, you come to this earth, and you have all of these wonderful feelings and impulses and sensations, and then your parents say, and your school say, no. And I'm going to say a little word about your parents and your teachers. They're not bad. They just didn't know better. They did their best and that's what they got. And so they served it back to you and they did this, right? And so with this, when you're trying to get success, it can't happen because you will never, ever, ever be fulfilled like this. And you will never, ever, ever have any success like this. You cannot touch another human being by being covered up by your resistance and your conditioning and your coping mechanisms. You cannot. This is what is fulfilling. This is what gets success. This is humanity. This is what touches another person in the audience, not this. And so you can do this very well because you were forced to close up and to disconnect from yourself and to tune into the authorities. And so you learn to do it really well to not get hurt by your authorities, by your caregivers. You learn to be a real good people pleaser. You learn to look real good, run away from good. Good is the enemy. It's the evil of everything that's related to you and your success and your fulfillment. So, but when you become great at being really good for others, the problem is your main ingredient as an actor has disappeared. You're no longer there. You're just learning a bunch of tricks on a, on a bucket with holes. There's nothing here. You're not present. There's no possibility to even feel what you feel. So the one ingredient that you need for your real fulfilling success is to do this. And you've been wired to stay like this and make it nice, shiny, and golden. So this is the unconditional thing you need because when you have you back, guess what happens? It feels great to audition. It feels great to defend a character and not your ego. It feels great to meet an agent. It feels great to negotiate something. It feels great to defend a character on set. It feels great to meet new people. It feels great to receive a medal. It feels great to be you because you're you. When you're like this, still a victim of your conditioning and your wiring, you're not you. So none of it can feel good. Do you guys get what I'm saying? I saw a big message, so I'm just going to... Um, Jose, I told you not to take acting classes because they will teach you to be fake. Yeah, de definitely. There's no... Um, there's so little that an acting class can do to get back into you. And of course, every acting teacher out there will tell you get an acting class as if that was something to learn. Acting is something you can learn, but art is not something we can learn. First, you need to unlearn. It's actually the opposite. You need to unlearn all of this, all the decades of this, of looking good in this, of finding safety in this, of walking around like this, of charming like this, of getting results like this. It's unlearning everything so that the jewel that you are inside, the pure human being that you are inside can progressively wake up and go back to who you were born to be. The instinctive, magnificent, miraculous human being that you are. That's the ingredient. Show up with this at an audition, it's done. Show up with this and a tape, it's done. There's no acting needed. Acting lessons are the solution to a problem that doesn't exist. There's no problem with acting. Look at a, look at a child 
preconditioning, an early child, play. Do they need an acting lesson? No, they don't. They're acting all day with their characters and they are the best actors in the world because they're never thinking, am I doing it right? Is this good? Should I do this more, this, that? No. They are concentrated in their moment, tuned into their pleasure, into their fulfillment, feeling their emotions and going for it. And nothing is disturbing that. When you can show up like that, like you used to show up when you were little, all the doors open. That's when people rewrite scripts for you. Look at the testimonials on our website, To Be or Not To Act. Look at what people go with into auditions, going for role, little role A, leave with principal lead role of an opposite gender because people will be so intoxicated with how magnificent you are when you show up, not this version of you, but this, that they will rewrite for you. They will change your race. They will change the gender. They will change the text. They will change the future arc of your character. They will make you not die. They will change your age. They will change your accent, your skin color, everything. Look at the testimonials on our website. When people are showing up like this, the casting director can see you. They can see you because you're there. Do you think they can see you when you're walking in like this with all your acting tricks? No. That's how they can see you. That's how they can feel you, experience you, get a taste of your humanity. They can't hear. They can only get a taste of your acting skills, of your ego, of your pretend confidence. They can't get a, state of, a taste of your presence. This is how you book. This is how you skip the line. This is how you multiply your booking ratio by three. This is how you feel fulfilled. This is real success because you were meant to come and live this, not that at all, ever, no one, in any profession. This is what we're meant to live. So get that unconditional ingredient like this because you can try everything like this as much as you can and you can go to the best gurus and the best mentors. If you're walking around like this, all they're gonna do is polish this resistance on top of you. That you feel when you're auditioning. Why is there so much pain? Why is there so much tension? Why is there so much stress when you're doing your job? Because you're walking in like this and this is painful because this is what's, what wants to be alive. This is what came to this earth, not this. This and the polishing of this and the becoming great at this shiny mask is the solution to a problem you don't have. You don't have a problem to be human. You've had conditioning and that needs to be addressed. You need to unlearn all of this so that you can be alive again. That's your job as an actor. Show up fully alive. Your job is not to act. It's about not acting about really being you in every second, every moment. And you know this is true deep down because that's why it's not fulfilling when you don't do it. And it feels like ecstasy when you finally touch that. But I'm here to remind you that you were born to be that every second, every moment of your life. And when you can be that, all the doors open. So if this makes sense and you want more information, you've been struggling, you've been trying things, no matter again what level you're at, let us know. You can type free 100 in the messages or comments and we're able to send you some information, some free training so that you can start unlearning and undoing this so that you can come back to the full version of yourself. Ah, thank you, Jose. Yes, and then there's the typical question that comes from your conditioning, which... Noemi is asking is what if the director asks you to feel something you don't feel in the moment that question Noemi comes from this when you're here you know there's no difference between this feeling and that feeling it's just pure energy so the work to be done 
is to undo your resistance. And when we muscle up your instinct, when we muscle it back up, because it's always been there, you were born with it, it's been repressed, and we just need to kind of re-educate it to be fully alive. All of those emotions are just energy. They're just flow. They're just a sensation of opening in you. And so one doesn't cancel the other. And it's it the way you're going to approach directors is a different way than you're the director and the authority i'm i'm your subject and i do whatever you want it's going to be a collaboration because you're going to bring much more to the table and so they're going to want to listen to you um which the best directors say about the best actors is like you never have to direct the best actors because they come with their full self so all you have to do is maybe sometimes say turn it down but you never actually have to get in there because it's the actor's job to live the life of the character. Um, <laughs> uh, Patty is saying, every time I talk, it, it, it enters a different way. Um, I, I, I do my best. Um, glad that it gets to some of you. Um, and again, if you're wanting to do that work, um, Type free 100 in the comments and then we can send you some information. I hope you have a beautiful day and that you are your full self. Ciao.